up. I think this is mine. It's a Toyota Sienna. So I'm just gonna go in inside right now. I think they are expecting me. Welcome to Beijing, the heart and soul of China. Beijing has a history over 3,000 years, making it as one of the world's oldest cities. It's a place where history meets innovation. But Beijing isn't just about the past. It is a bustling metropolis with a skyline that rivals any in the world. It showcases China's rapid growth and innovation. There are almost 22 million people working and living here. And I used to live here for 10 years from 2003 to 2013. I've seen it grow. Beijing is a city of contrast and connections where every corner has a story to tell. The city never stopped to inspire me. And today, I'm heading to Yizhuang, the south of Beijing, to experience the next generation technology. So here I am at, in Beijing today, uh, somewhere in the south of Beijing, about 20 kilometers uh, out of the city center. I'm here today to experience the robo taxi. Robo taxi is basically short for robot taxi. Um, it's a self driving car technology built in into public transportation. And currently they are testing this in this area in Beijing, which is about 20 kilometers outside of the city center. So this place looks pretty new. It's um, it's like a new development area called Yi Zhuang. Uh, it's quite far. It, it felt quite far maybe because of the traffic. So it took me about 40 minutes to get here. So I'm now waiting for the vehicle to arrive. They said they're supposed to pick me up around 3.30, which is about 11 minutes from now. So the person I've been liaising with, uh, they're the marketing and PR team from Pony.ai. Her name is Miss Luo Dan. Uh, she said oh, she's very responsive and she's, she was very helpful to help me coordinate uh, this experience for this self-driving car technology um, and she's the one who's helping me to arrange the vehicle on the ground. I think this is quite, I, I don't think it's, it's an easy thing to, to organize so I'm very thankful that the team actually responded very quickly when I messaged them over LinkedIn um, just about two days ago. She said the vehicle's arriving is it's an MPV, it's a Toyota Senna, a white Toyota Senna uh, with a plate number ZAP017. So the vehicle should come um, any time now. I can definitely see another vehicle actually waiting outside there. It's a Toyota Lexus, but I think my ride is here. From what I can see, there's nobody here. I don't know whether this is my ride or not. Let's check if it's, this is the one. So there are two vehicles here. Yep, I think this is mine. It's a Toyota Sienna. So I'm just gonna go in inside right now. I think they are expecting me. I just got on the vehicle. Uh, this should be my pickup. I hope, I hope. Because they already opened the door, so I'm just right here inside now. So it's asking me to put on the seat belt right now. All right. Okay. And then, so it says, put on your seat belts, close all doors, and then supposed to just press on this one to, to begin the journey. So, so there's no driver now. I'm going to try to take my video as well. So totally no driver if you can see. Isn't that cool? No one's inside there. So nobody. Self-driving car technology. Experiencing it in Beijing. Really, really cool. Yep. <clears throat> so there's also a dashboard here which shows where the vehicle is right now and showing all the vehicles that are moving around and outside. This is really, really cool. And even actually people are watching from outside. They thought, 
yeah, what a cool technology, right? So it shows bicycles on the road. This is a self-driving car technology by Pony AI, Ro by Robotaxi. It's a Robotaxi. So basically, this is not even a busy road. Um, so I guess this is why the reason they were able to test this technology here. And um, this is great. And I can also see a smaller vehicle right in front that is probably for delivery service or something. So as you can see the, the wheels and it's turning by itself. I guess there are people actually watching um, from somewhere, probably from the control center. So from what I can see, it's uh, it's driving about 45, 46 kilometers per hour within the speed limit. Um, so it's cool. I think the, all the radar system is detecting all the vehicles around this car. So in Chinese, it's called this is a vehicle, it looks nice inside. It's actually a new vehicle. It's a Toyota Sienna. This is the future. And the future is already happening here in Beijing, China. This vehicle moving by itself, fully autonomous, and is able to detect the vehicles around it. So it's just me here, as you can see, uh, seated right here um, in the passenger cabin. And if I just turn my camera around, as you can see, there is no driver at all. There's no driver. See, and it's um, it's really stable. It's actually smooth. Uh, there's no jerkiness. I think the the technology is quite well blended, and um, it's even trying to overtake that vehicle right in front, right at the moment. So as you can see, this, this new area is pretty new. This was probably not around when I was here much, much earlier when I used to live in Beijing many, many years ago. And um, even if you can see, the roads are like, they look pretty new, like newly sealed. Probably a new development area for technology-related companies to be based here. When I saw that Lexus just now, the plate number was 002. This is, 00, this is 017. So, I don't know, maybe I, I assume that they have more than 10 vehicles that are currently being tested here in Beijing. So the whole experience, it's uh, very smooth. Um, as, as, as a passenger, you're able to see this dashboard and I think you're able to play music as well. You can choose whatever music that you want to listen to. This one here, he tells about who the company is, what is Robotaxi, and what is the, all the different technologies and safety features that they have. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. This is, so you can also look at English. <coughs> um, maybe that is that destination, probably another 2.5 kilometers before we reach the destination. So this company is called Pony.ai or Pony AI. They are basically a technology company that builds self-driving car technology and they are now implementing it for public transportation. This technology is bright. There's a lot of new opportunities in this area as we progress as humanity. I just saw one vehicle right there just now. It was the Lexus. I found out about this car just about a few days ago. I was browsing an article and, um, and saw that there is a test currently being, currently being run right here in Beijing. So what I did was I just tried to reach out a couple of people and also contacted the, the uh, <coughs> LinkedIn page. And fortunately, there was somebody who responded very quickly and they were very, very, very helpful. And um, after a few days later, I was able to arrange this together with them. So this is really great. 
and I think we are about 1.8 kilometers from the destination. So far, we are about 10 minutes <coughs> in the journey. Um, yeah, it's all smooth and um, it is not as scary as people said. Um, it feels very, very safe. Um, it feels very safe. I didn't feel anything. And uh, yeah, this is a very exciting technology, at least for me. Somebody who's into technology, who's into AI, this is a great thing to experience here in Beijing, in China. So as you can see, there's a truck that just entered the road. Um, let's see how safe it is. Yeah. So it says we are 0 0.5 kilometers away. It feels pretty fast. It's almost like a human driving this vehicle it doesn't feel like a robot that is driving this vehicle it feels like a human it is so smooth even the way they drive it i'm very impressed uh, so far with this ride it doesn't feel like a robot or an ai driving this vehicle um, it's, um, the experience is great and uh, I, I bet this technology is going to continue to improve um, over the years and this is going to be a common place in the very near future and I know China is somewhat ahead in this technology um, to be able to run it and testing it in a city in Beijing this is really really great so whenever there's a vehicle in front it will slow down at automatically so this is taking me places i like it so this was really worth the journey of coming here all the way from the city center about 20 over minutes just to get here not 20 minutes about 40 over minutes to get here actually now we are at the stoplight <coughs> At the traffic light, all the vehicles are stopping by this green light now. So even the acceleration is smooth, as you can see. As I said, it drives like a human. It drives like a really an expert driver. Um, you don't even actually feel it's going to be stopping suddenly. And the whole experience, it's totally great. So even from this control panel, you can see a bunch of things here. You can just like... You can adjust the air conditioner if it's too warm for you. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, and it will adjust everything automatically. So it's well integrated. It shows the trip view, where, where we are and where we are heading. And I think we are reaching our destination very, very soon um, from the look, at, look of it. I hope they will drop me at the same place. We have this technology in Malaysia, but it is still at its early stage. I know in Cyberjaya, they have already been tested, but in a very, very small scale. And there is actually a designated testing area in Cyberjaya today. But even that, I think it needs a bit of more time before the real test can be done on the road. But for in this, in this example here, this shows the technology it's quite mature um, even the authorities allow this technology to be tested on public roads <clears throat> so it's basically taking me for a ride around around this area it shows a subway station maybe it'll stop me maybe they plan to drop me off there i do not know but let's just see Meanwhile, just to try to enjoy the ride as much as possible. So suddenly, there was a vehicle that was trying to, to come out from that junction, so it actually stepped on the brake. That is the experience. It's like human driving this taxi. And even better than humans, I think, because, you know, um, technology, it, it's capable of detecting uh, many things at the same time, understanding its surrounding, and to make sure that uh, there is no danger and able to predict all different driving behaviors from people right including like for example this bus here what if the bus suddenly comes out will it stop so again this technology will continue to improve over time 
I will continue to be better as it collects more data, it experiences more different it experiences different traffic situations and those kind of things. So for example, this is this is turning left, so it will give way to the vehicle first. So I guess we are almost reaching our destination from what I can see. So I've been recording this for the last 20 minutes. So as you can see from this junction, they have to give way to pedestrians first to make sure that people have crossed safely, even motorbikes. And even these people are watching. So I won't be surprised. Like maybe over the next few years, five years maybe down the road, Robo-taxi will be a common place, at least in China, or maybe some parts of the world. Uh, this is a really exciting technology. So it's trying to give way to this person. Cool. And I can see another one here on the street. I think... Over. Please don't open the door. Okay, I think we have reached the destination. Thank you, Pony, for the great ride. Um, so we were. So it just unlocked the car and it just opened the door for me. Thank you, thank you, Robo Taxi. It is a great experience. Um, yep, I'll be sharing more of these stories and uh, thank you so much. Let us shoot a bit of this vehicle right here. As you can see, this is the. Pony, this is the company. We can see all the different cameras. This is the Toyota Sienna. I'll take take a photo a little bit. Thank you, Toyota Sienna. Thank you for the great ride. So this guy is leaving soon. Thank you so much. So they were kind enough to drop me off at the subway station. Let's see which station is this. Um, so I can just get my ride. I hope it's already open. It looks... Is this open? Yeah. Anyway, that was fun. That was a great experience to be able to ride on a robo taxi. A uh, fully autonomous self-driving technology. Uh, we don't get to see that in at least in Malaysia just yet or many parts of the world and to be able to experience it in Beijing it's another level and for someone who likes technology like me wow it's awesome so thank you for watching um, I hope to be able to do more coverage of self-driving car technology and all other technologies that are coming or that are being developed from different parts of the world if you have seen some of my earlier YouTube videos, you would have seen that I used to um, go to those, you know, convenience store. I mean, that was like many, many years ago, the autonomous uh, convenience store. And as you can see, technology has evolved more and more exciting things are happening. And even if you look at the whole context in the automobile industry, electric vehicles are getting really, really big in China. So hopefully with all the integration of technology we get to experience and see even more exciting technologies and hopefully I would be able to share it with you as well. And thank you very much. Thanks for watching and follow me for more content like this.